Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth Emsley. I'm a cloud enthusiast at Dynatrace, and I'm here today to talk to you about our Microsoft Sentinel solution. To get started with the Microsoft Sentinel Dynatrace solution, we need the following prerequisites. We need an active Dynatrace SaaS or managed tenant. We need an active Azure subscription. We need to onboard our subscriptions to Microsoft Sentinel. And we need a key vault uh, to store our access tokens for Dynatrace. Once we have configured our prerequisites, we are ready to move on to our next steps. We need to deploy the uh, Dynatrace Sentinel solution. We need to uh, configure any data connectors which we may be needing. We need to also configure any analytics rules. And finally, we need to configure any playbooks which we wish to execute automatically. Let's dive right in and see what this looks like in practice. The first step is to go to your Microsoft Sentinel workspace and install the Dynatrace solution. Select Content Hub, enter Dynatrace in the search box, select the Dynatrace solution, click Install, click Create, select your workspace and click Review and Create. Confirm you have the workspace selected and click Create. It will take a moment for the solution to be deployed. As we can see, the solution was successfully deployed and we can move on to the next step. Next, we need to set up the Dynatrace data connectors. We open our Sentinel workspace. We go to the data connectors blade. We search for Dynatrace. We select one of our data connectors, click the open connector page. Here we are going to need our Dynatrace tenant. So it will be in the form of you know, xyz.dynatrace.com and the access token, which we generated uh, as one of the prerequisites. Paste both values into the correct fields and click connect. You'll be notified whether the connection succeeded or failed. Before moving on to create the analytics rules, we need to confirm that data has been collected from Dynatrace. You can do so from the data connector pane of Sentinel leverages analytics rules to generate alerts and to create incidents. We can open the analytics blade. We go to the rule templates tab. We search for Dynatrace and we'll see a number of different rules, templates, which uh, customers can leverage. We click the Create Rule button. We can see that the rule, the new rule will be disabled by default once created. We can see the entity mapping. We can see the alert details. Click Next. I would recommend enabling grouping of related alerts by entity. Click Next. For now, we don't have any automated response. We'll click Next. And then we finally, we double check the settings and click Create. The rule will be successfully saved. Once we enable our analytics rule, we will see that incidents begin to be created. Sentinel provides a fully featured incident management platform. We can see that our analytics rule has created a number of incidents. If we open one of these incidents, we can see the basic information which was imported via the data connector um, from Dynatrace. We can also see if there are any similar incidents, any related alerts, any bookmarks, any detected entities, such as the host or IP. And finally, we can comment on the incident. To ensure engineers who are handling incidents have all the context around the Dynatrace attack, we need to configure a new playbook 
an automation rule. So we create an instance of the Enrich Dynatrace Application Security Attack Incident Playbook by clicking Create Playbook. We enter any details required on the basic pane. We enter our location, the same location as your Sentinel workspace. We enter the key vault name, so this would be the key vault which you created as one of the prerequisites. And we enter our Dynatrace tenant. Click Next. On this screen we can see what connections are required by this, uh, this playbook. And we're able to select any which are already existing. Finally, we can review our configuration and we can click Create. We can see that deployment has succeeded and the playbook is automatically opened in the, the browser. Click Save. Next step would be to authorize the API connections. This playbook requires special permissions on the Sentinel workspace to ensure it's able to enrich incidents. So we go to the Azure Role Assignments pane for the system identity assigned to this playbook. We select the Resource Group Scope. We select the Sentinel Responder role. We click Save. Finally, we see the role assignment was successfully added. All the Dynatrace playbooks rely on the fact that you store the Dynatrace access token in a key vault. This requires the system assigned identity for the playbook to have the get secret permissions on that vault. Please create the, a new access policy and select <coughs> the system assigned identity for the playbook. Click Next and click finally create. The final step is to configure an automation rule for our playbook. Open the automation blade, click create automation rule, type the automation rule name, select when incident is created as the trigger, select the attack detection analytic rule name in the condition, under Action, select Run Playbook and select your Enriched Dynatrace Application Security Attack Incident Playbook. Let's take a look at one of our enriched incidents. Open the Incidents pane and select one of the Dynatrace Attack Incidents. If we expand the description, we'll see now we have additional context. We also have a deep link to Dynatrace. We also have all the management zones which are added as tags to the incident. I hope you have enjoyed this brief video and look forward to getting feedback from customers